Eduate is like ChatGPT, but specifically made for teachers. Their AI-driven platform helps educators create lesson plans, teaching resources, and assessments. My name is Carly, and I help teachers use AI to save time and enhance instruction. There are so many tools out there, but Eduate is one of my favorites because of its functionality, and it's a one-stop shop with a wide range of practical tools. I'm going to give a quick overview of Eduate.ai, some of its greatest tools for teachers, and also a few tips and tricks on how to use it. So right when you log in, you're going to see on the left-hand side, there's a toolbar with the different main categories of tools for teachers. So there's the content generator, the assistant, feedback bot, Eduate chat, assessment builder, and then a space for your saved content. We're going to start with the content generator, which is where most of the tools that teachers will use on a regular basis live. And I just want to point out, you want to put in your grade level and your subject area. Under settings, you can also set a default grade level and subject area that EduAid will remember each time you log in. A lot of teachers love EduAid for lesson planning, and I'll share that my favorite lesson planning tool is the 5e tool because it creates the lesson plan but with an inquiry lens. So students are engaging, exploring, explaining, elaborating, and evaluating. So I'm going to star this one since it's one of my favorites, and anything that you star will always be at the very top, which is nice. Now, for the topic or keyword, which is what you enter down here, for a lesson plan, I recommend using your learning target or an objective. A standard is a little bit too broad for this, and if you just say the topic, it might not be specific enough. So I clicked Add to Workspace, and over here to the right is my workspace. It gives me a nice outline, a general idea of how I could approach this. It is not going to give you everything, so you're still going to want to revise this and add in your own things. And at the bottom, it's going to give you some suggested pairs. So I might also want a reading comprehension assignment to go with this lesson. And if I click on that, it's going to start to create one for me. And this is kind of summarizing how to determine the speed of a moving object, which would be a great resource that I could provide students with after the fact. You can rename anything so that it's easy to find in your saved content later. You can edit things by clicking here and it brings up an entire text editor. You can also copy this by clicking this button and now I can just paste it into Google Docs or whatever tool you prefer. Over here are the different categories within the content generator. So we have our information objects, our independent practice, and I'm going to show another one of my favorites, which is the reading comprehension assignment. I starred this one as well to keep it at the top. When using the reading comprehension assignment, it's helpful to be really specific. So I try to really clearly explain everything I'm hoping to see in this passage. Whenever you add something new to your workspace, it's just going to show up at the bottom until you close out previous generations. So it gives me this nice passage. Of course, you'd want to go through and revise it, proofread it, because AI can hallucinate, but it's also going to give me some questions to go with it. And I could even see how do I want to turn this into a team based activity. Now I want to show another tool, which is the transform tool, which is really helpful because it can help you extract keywords, generate headings, increase or decrease the Lexile, translate to different languages, generate answer keys, and there's even a standards aligner tool. A few other gamification tools that I really like, this or that is one of my favorites because what this does is comes up with really engaging questions about any topic. And the, actually the more vague you are here, the better. So I'm just gonna put in photosynthesis. This will give me 10 really engaging questions that I could use in my warmups. It could use in my exit tickets. It could just be a discussion question. So there are would you rather questions, scenario based questions, and then there's also some thought provoking questions here as well. You can explore all these other categories. I highly recommend it because everyone is going to find something different that they really enjoy. Um, but I want to go to the assistant tool because there's some really great accessibility options here as well. There's the IEP outline tool, um, inclusive strategies, those Lexile increaser and decreaser tools. The last thing I want to point out, and this is actually while you are in your workspace, you can always go to the EduAid chat if you have the pro version. And this allows you to just chat back and forth with EduAid. And you might say, you know, um, I really like this about the lesson plan, but I want it changed to be more like this. I want these things changed about it. So this is a way that you can really interact with the content and what it gives you to really make it your own. So um, that was a very quick overview, but explore and let me know if you have any questions.